Hello everyone, welcome to this Saturday's recipe. So today I've decided to make a red velvet waffle cake, which is inspired from the red velvet waffle cake by Belgian waffles. And since everyone has been hyping about it, so I thought I'd make this video. Begin by cracking up two eggs into a bowl. Followed by two third cups of sugar. The now all you do is whisk, whisk, whisk. Combining the eggs and sugar is like a therapy. We're going to keep alternating between flour and milk to adjust the consistency. So first I'm going to add one cup of flour. I'm going to sift it and then I'm going to mix it until it gets combined pretty well. After it's starting to dry up, I'm going to add milk and then mix it again. And then I'm going to keep doing it for the rest of the ingredients. Then we want to add 2 teaspoons of vanilla essence, followed by a pinch of salt. Salt brings out the flavor in every sweet dish. I'm using red food coloring for this. Make sure you add a few drops in the beginning and then you can always keep adding to adjust the color. Because some food based colors are too dark. So you just want to add a little in the beginning. And then maybe a few more drops if you feel like the color is not that red and if you want like a deep red waffle. But I might just leave it a slightly pink. So that's fine. Finally, you will reach such a consistency and you'll know that you're done. And we want to clean it up if you want to store it overnight. So you, you might just tuck it in the refrigerator, just like I'm going to do mine. finished a few other tasks and now I'm back so it's out of the fridge and I'm gonna add about three teaspoons of oil tablespoon actually you can also use melted butter here you hit the subscribe button cuz it's free and I'm making new videos every Saturday so make sure you're subscribed Turn on my waffle maker and it's going to take about 2 minutes to heat up. Next so we're going to scoop out our batter into a small measuring cup. And here comes the final part. A pinch of baking soda to every measuring cup before we pour it into the waffle maker. We don't want to mix all the baking soda into our entire batter because we're going to keep making the waffles after a gap of 10 minutes. So to keep the baking soda activated, we're going to add it right before we pour it into the waffle maker. You have to make sure that you don't overfill the waffle maker. Neither do you underfill it because if, if you're going to underfill it, the waffle is not going to cook from one side. I had opened to check it after 5 minutes and it was partially cooked. So I let it sit there for another 5 minutes. And now that our waffle maker is entirely hot, I think it should be done.
For this waffle cake, I made four batches of waffles. And then you're gonna drizzle white chocolate, like loads of white chocolate onto the melted white chocolate onto your waffles. Spread it around evenly. Then goes on our second layer of waffles. Again, loads of white chocolate on top. To take it a little further, I've crushed a few biscuits and mixed a little red color drops of food color into it. Last drizzle of white chocolate and our waffles are ready to eat. Look at that, creamy and chocolatey. Trust me, everyone's gonna love this. So let me know if you like this video in the comments below and if you're gonna try this recipe. Also, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and push the bell icon. I'm gonna see you next week. Happy weekend.